Sarah, thank you. New for you at noon, the FDLE has released its report now after that deadly shootout in Miramar back in 2019 that killed four people, including the kidnapped UPS driver as well as an innocent bystander. You may remember it all started after two men robbed a Coral Gables jewelry store and then hijacked that UPS driver. They then led police on a chase in that UPS truck that ended in a shootout. Local 10's Alexis Frazier is here in the studio with the new findings. Well, that report by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is full of witness statements and officers who were there on the scene that day. The report also revealing that all of the bullets killing the UPS driver and a bystander, they were traced back to officers. The FDLE released a 66 page report detailing the chaotic moments that unfolded on December 5th, 2019, when two men robbed a jewelry store in Coral Gables, hijacked a UPS truck with driver Frank Ordonez in it and led police on a 25 mile chase. According to the report, witness statements and physical evidence, the chase ended in a hail of bullets in the area of Miramar Parkway and Flamingo Road. The report revealing all of the bullets killing the 27 year old UPS driver and 70 year old bystander Richard Cutshaw were traced back to the Miami Dade officers weapons from among the four officers facing manslaughter charges in the case. Leslie Lee, Jose Mateo, Rodolfo Mirabal and Richard Santa Esteban. I wasn't alive when the shooting happened. Officer Leslie Lee saying he did not observe anyone from within the UPS truck discharge a weapon. And during gunfire, he saw Ordonez as he fell outside of the right door. Bullet holes in his heart. The report also has witness statements. One woman saying there were bullets everywhere and that she saw some hit her windshield. Another man says he was in the car with his nine-year-old son when he saw police approach the UPS truck and shots were fired. Officers on scene were quoted as well. One officer mistakenly believed that a Miramar police officer broke a window on the UPS truck with a baton, when in fact it was an officer from Pembroke Pines. Well, all of the charge officers have pleaded not guilty in the case and are awaiting trial in Broward County Court. In the newsroom, Alexis Frazier, Local 10 News.